again. It's Jeremy from Topics in Radiography. Just want to do something a little bit different for this video, and this is a very, very entry-level, back-to-basics sort of thing here. Um, I am a visual learner myself, and, uh, and when teaching exposure principles, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. And uh, this is just a very simple, anybody can do this. Uh, I'm using Windows Paint for this right now, but I'm going to do a little basic explanation of mass, which up here, obviously, uh, hopefully you've had this. This is like a first couple weeks in your first semester in radiography school. Mass is uh, MA in time, and what it does is control the uh, amount of radiation exposure uh, to your uh, patient and ultimately to your image receptor. It's the easiest way to control radiographic density and exposure to the plate. So mass is the product of MA and time. And uh, what we really need to learn is what MA is, first of all. It uh, stands for milliamperes. That controls the quantity of electrons emitted from the cathode inside the x-ray tube when these electrons are emitted from the cathode and then get KVP applied to them, sending them over to the anode. And the interaction with that anode material, which is tungsten, uh, causes X-ray production. The main point, without going into too much detail, is that uh, MA controls the quantity. So how many? Time uh, has to be multiplied by the MA to get a total quantity of photons. So MA is more, you know, how many you're going to do and for for how long with the time. And it has to be in seconds. A uh, cheesy little trick here. Uh, what I do is go up to the brushes here and click this little spray can looking thing, airbrush, whatever it's called, and go down to the size, the biggest gigantic size you can, uh, which is 24 pixels. Uh, this is free software. Obviously, you can do something better with Photoshop, but I know... Uh, not everybody has Photoshop. Anytime you increase your mass, you're increasing the quantity of photons, which will ultimately, uh, on film screen, give you a darker image, or it will, uh, on any uh, image receptor, give you a higher exposure to the plate. So this is more of a film screen related demonstration. What I'm going to do is just do a little quick, you know, probably half a second uh, spray right there. Um, so a certain number of uh, spray dots, we'll say, uh, or paint dots have come out. Uh, the number of dots would probably be controlled by my MA, if we're going to make that synonymous with the X-ray photons. And the time, I just did it about a half a second. So I'm just going to demonstrate next to it, maybe a full second. So I've doubled my time. Hopefully I've uh, doubled my mass there as well. Um, that's the thing, is I can double MA to double my overall mass, or I can double my time to double the overall uh, product of mass. If I double both, that's actually four times the, uh, the mass. So when it, whenever you're doubling mass, you, you, if, if you have a manual technique where you have uh, independent exposure of MA and time, uh, just double one of them. If you're just setting a technique with mass, then that's different, but but just know uh, that you shouldn't be doubling both of these to try to double the product. All right, so I have about a half a second, uh, one second. I'm just going to go two seconds here. And you see, it's a lot darker. Again, more photons to the plate more paint drops to the paper. Again, very cheesy, but you can see my original exposure here uh, with the lowest time. Then I doubled it and then doubled it again over here. Obviously just very, very simple. I hope it's not too basic for you, but uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm looking at the statistics from my uh, blog stats and most of the uh, high number posts are from students, and that's kind of where I'm headed with with uh, my blog here. You know, I have a passion for teaching, and um, I'm also about to publish my first book, which deals with uh, proper uh, school selection, uh, what you need to know before getting into this field, uh, what the job market is like. That's a that's a huge topic right now. So I'd say the first half of the book at least is selection of a program and the last half is going to be just 
you know, getting you through the program because it's challenging. It's, uh, it's not easy. You know, it, it's definitely trying. We require a lot of you in x-ray school. Plus, uh, you have responsibilities outside of school that, uh, that are going to have to be maintained as well. And I just wanted to give people a realistic approach to that. It's packed full of information. Um, I really hope you check it out. I'll stop talking about it, and I'll just put a link in the bottom there uh, in the description of this video. I hope you've enjoyed my uh, Back to Basics video here, and I'll see you next time.